Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Burrito Review. We're here in the Lolitas Mexican food in sunny San Diego, California. Today, we're gonna try a carne asada burrito. Here we go. Look at that baby, golden flour tortilla. Let's check out how much it weighs. Coming in at a cool 366 grams or 0.8 pounds. Let's check out how big this guy is today. It's coming in at, oh, the length, it's bigger than six inches. It's actually too big for my silver calibers. But now let's check out this girth. Two, 2.81 inches in girth. That's not bad, not bad. Not the biggest I've had, but not bad. All right, let's see what's on the inside of this bad boy. All right, first impressions. Not gonna lie, not that much filling. Not that much filling at all. The meat to tortilla ratio could be better. There's not that much meat. There's a lot of decent amount of pico de gallo. Let's give it this tortilla a taste. Um, tortilla has great texture. Great texture of tortilla. A little bit chewy. Very little salt flavor, which I like, but very flavorful. You, the fat flavor, the umami of the fat in the tortilla definitely comes through. All right. I'm gonna go into the burrito now. Cheers. I think the highlight of this burrito is definitely a tortilla. The tortilla is very good, very well made. Texture is on point. The meat is good. Not the best I've ever had. A little bit salty but not overwhelming. It was a good balance actually. And then the meat has a, definitely pepper. Pepper comes through a lot in the meat here. It's juicy. A little bit savory, not, definitely not dry though. So it's juicy and peppery. I would say those are the two main features of the meat here. Overall, it's a pretty cohesive package, but the one thing I will say is lacking is, is the volume. It's it's not the, I, it's just lacking in size and girth. Like, you know, when I bite into a burrito, I want to like, I want it really deep and like to fill everything. I really taste it. Fill you up. Okay. Fill me up, yeah, fill me up. I wanted to fill me up. I mean, it's good, but it's really just not enough. It's like, it keeps you wanting more. So if they, literally if they doubled the meat, I think this would be almost a perfect burrito, but it's just a little bit too, too small for my liking. Now, you know, some people like it small. I, I like it big, that's just me. But overall, I'm gonna rate the flavor because of the tortilla, which I really, really like, I think I'm gonna give it three and a half borons. For satiation, definitely like two borons. Just not enough, not satiated. The raw experience, good. Food came out fast, it was warm. Um, presentation's fine, nothing to write home about. Overall experience, three and a half. And overall, I think I'm gonna give Lolita's in San Diego, which I know has somewhat of a cult following. You guys might not like me for this, but Honestly, I'm gonna give it like, let's go 3.75. It's almost a four, but it's just it's just not enough food. That's the biggest thing, right? You, you go to a burrito place, you really want some girth in your mouth. That's what you want. You want the juicy meat, the gooey guacamole, 
the chewy tortilla. You just want to all build all up in you and just, you know, just that flavor explosion in your mouth. That's what you're really looking for. And it's, it's just too small for that here. But if I like small things, you know, it'd be pretty good. So we have a special guest today that I'm going to have taste test the meat as well. This is Boron. And he's going to be our approved taste tester. Oh, he likes it already. All right. Here's a piece of carne asada straight from a burrito from Mr. Boron. So far, he seems to like it. Here you go, Bor. Based on the way he's biting my fingers and my hand, I think it's Boron approved. So overall, the carne asada here is Boron approved at least. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep finishing my burrito. I'll see you guys for the next one.